Welcome to this video segment where we discuss how to work with front-end submission forms in ACPT and Bricks Builder. Excited to see you here. If this is your first time, I am Onchit and I like to make websites using WordPress and trying out different plugins to make possible different functionalities without the need for coding. So all tutorials here would be code less to say so. In the previous two videos, we learned how to create custom post types using ACT, and also how to display rating field using different methods using Bricks Builder. In this we start by creating a custom post type in our test website, then move ahead to creating associated form. Let us begin by creating a new custom post type called project. Give it a name project, and its plural form field would be projects. Choose an icon, you could choose any, let's go with paintbrush for now. We don't need excerpt and thumbnail here. Once details are entered, click next. On this tab, there isn't anything much of interest so click next. On third tab, check if archive is enabled, then click save. Page refreshes and on left admin panel, you will see projects menu. When you click on add project, you see you don't have many options of fields to enter. So go back and add fields to this. Click on field group, add new field group, give it a name and condition. Condition would be that the fields here would be associated only with post type project. Next start adding the fields. First would be project admin, as title would be the project post name itself so title field is not required. Next would be, let's say description. We can use default content so let us skip description and call it client name which will be of type text. Next field would be duration which would be a number field. Date or any such field doesn't fit, so we will use number. In advanced options look for text after, and type months there. Suffix doesn't currently show by default, in the add new post form or in the front end form. Suffix currently only shows when you use shortcode for this field, hence not useful in this case. Same goes for our next field named budget. Text before would be dollar symbol. Next field let's use the rating field. In the project context, we can use it to say priority of project, 5 meaning high priority. Now let's add a new post of project type. Here, you notice that width of the fields are full and seems like a waste of space. Let's go back into the field group, in advanced options, reduce the field width as per design, and do the same for all. Note that, space between the fields also counts in the 100% width, so instead of adding up width to 100, let's add it to say 90, meaning 10 can be width. Play around with field width as required. Now give this post a name as project1. Add dummy text, and enter fields with dummy data. Once you publish, see if the fields are being saved in backend. Now we move on to the next step of getting our forms created. To enable forms, under ACPT menu on left admin column, go to settings, scroll down and enable ACPT forms and cache. 
Save and refresh to see another item called Forms appear under ACPT menu on Admin Panel. Click on this and add new form. Give a name to this form, select Action as Post Management. Select the Post Type project. Once you do that, the pop-up shows fields below from that post type. A success message is shown above where you can add your customized message, which shows up once form is submitted on front end. Then select Create New Post as Action. This will be stored as draft in back end, which admin will need to publish. Save this form. Copy the shortcode that comes up now. Create a new page and paste this shortcode under the shortcode element. Publish this page and check on front end. You see the title, but no form. That is because we have not told the form, which fields to show on front end, out of all the fields. Go back to the forms menu, and click on manage next to the form you wish to work with. Here, click on post title. Give it a name, and check what settings it has. Then click on other fields that you want to wish to show on front end one by one from the left panel. You see the fields show up. Now you can arrange these fields as per the order you desire. Make them required to be filled under validation tab. From settings tab, you can give them names, arrange them left, right or center, change layout with label on top or on side. You can also give them column widths to occupy and design them to make them look more presentable on front end. Total 12 columns, so give the fields appropriate size. You can also set placeholder values under the extra tab on left panel. For budget, max value can be set higher. For duration, maximum months would be 12, to be safe put 13, in case the operator doesn't include the 12th month. Now check the form on front end. We have not added description of project, so let's go back and add that as well. You can set its height and width from Settings tab. Rearrange the fields and their widths now and check it on front end. This looks good enough. Now we need a Submit button, a Reset button can be handy as well. For submit button, add a button. In type, select submit. For reset you can select reset same way. Give the submit button a name. Here we call submit project. Same way add a reset button and give it a name and arrange the two buttons properly.
type value should be set to reset, not submit, for the reset feature. Now check on front end. Add a few projects here with name 1, 2, 3 etc. Fill dummy content in it and click on submit. Once submitted, you see that success message. Go to the project menu and see a new draft post created. Use quick edit to publish this post. Same way add few more posts and then we can create a page to display these project posts. Now add a new page and give it a name Team Projects. Publish this and click on Edit with Bricks. Now following our usual method like in previous videos, we create a section and container by clicking on plus icon. Then add a block which will be our repeating element inside this container. Under this block, group all the fields you wish to showcase. Once you put query loop on the block, each of these fields listed under the block will be called till all posts are displayed. Add heading element, rich text element, basic text element, then rating element to display. In heading element, add dynamic post title, For basic text, add dynamic client name and dynamic admin name by using the Thunderbolt icon. For rich text, Add dynamic post content. Add rating element and call the dynamic rating field. Give color to filled and unfilled stars to see the rating or priority. Now to see the magic, on block element, switch on query loop and click on infinity symbol to open its settings. Select post type as project, order as ascending and save this page. You see screen is populated with project data. Now to beautify this display, you can change direction on container to have either vertical or horizontal display. We will stick to vertical for this video. Go to block element and give margin to separate and have gap between the output elements. Then give some padding to the block element. To make it stand out, add box shadow and lower the opacity of color.
This gives a good output. Check it on front end. This looks good. Now let us give it a title and some margin. Add another section container segment, move it above the previous section. Check the display on front end and I believe there is some padding or margin needed on top. All done with the functionality. Add another post of project type and save it. Then approve from admin end and see the display automatically populates on front end. This is how we use ACPT forms to connect to custom post types and have a front-end submission form for users. This can be an internal website or maybe a reviews post type where users come and review your service or review a movie. Hoping you learned something valuable, do subscribe for more such different and interesting videos and type down your doubt. If I find them to be more common issue, we'll reply with another video of solution to that issue.